In our daily life, we observe many objects which rotate. For example, hands of a clock, a wheel of a motorcycle, a ceiling fan, etc. As you know, rotation takes place about a point and this point may or may not be the center of the object. The point about which an object rotates is called center of rotation. Rotation, like the moving hands of a clock, is called clockwise rotation. Otherwise, we call it anti-clockwise rotation. Also, when an object rotates, its shape and size do not change. Let us now perform an activity to understand the rotational symmetry. Make a figure out of a piece of cardboard as given on the screen and label the points as given in the figure. Put a drawing pin on the cardboard figure through O onto a piece of white paper pasted on a softboard. Trace the outline of this figure on the white paper and label the points as that on the cardboard. Now rotate the cardboard figure through 180 degree. You will notice that the cardboard figure exactly fits the figure on the white paper. The points A, B, C and D of the cardboard figure fall on the points P, Q, R and S shown in color of the white paper figure. Again rotate the cardboard figure through 180 degree. This time again, the cardboard figure will fit exactly on the white paper figure. The points A, B, C and D of the cardboard figure will fall again on top of the points A, B, C and D of the white paper figure. It means the cardboard figure comes back to its original position. We have seen that the cardboard figure fits exactly onto the white paper figure twice in the process of rotating back to its original position. We say, this figure has rotational symmetry of order 2 about O, the center of rotational symmetry and the angle of rotation is 180 degree. Here we are showing some figures which have rotational symmetry of orders other than 2. First figure shows the rotational symmetry of order 3. Second and third show the symmetry of order 4. And the last figure shows the rotational symmetry of order 6. There are some figures which when rotated about the center O fit onto themselves only when they are back to their original positions. That is, after they have made only one complete round. We say that they have no rotational symmetry as they fit their outlines in only one way. Some of the examples are given on the screen. Thus, a figure is said to have rotational symmetry about a point O if by rotating it about O, it fits its outline at least once before it has made a complete turn. O is called the center of rotation.